Now, typically when we cover stories of scam victims, they're out thousands of dollars. Tonight, we introduce you to a woman who lost $150. And still, as Denver 7's Brian Wang shows us, it could have cost her family their lives. It's this moment that has left this family traumatized. A man they've never seen, armed with two guns, looking for a Jessica showing up to their home Thursday. Thing is, Jessica Otero Garcia says she's never said those things, doesn't know the man, and doesn't even live at that Denver yeah, home anymore, but her family does. He could have hurt my, my aunt, he could have hurt my cousin, he could have shot one of them. 20-year-old Omar Vargas was arrested shortly after, but how could this happen? Back in November, Otero Garcia saw a post on Facebook from someone posing as an old middle school friend. And she's like, oh yeah, um, I'm here. I'm giving away money to teen moms to help them out. Tara Garcia, a young mom herself, was wary, but reached out anyway, thinking it was actually her friend. They're like, you know what? The best way to do this is through Bitcoin, through Cash App. She made the deposit before realizing she'd been scammed. So I'm like, okay, I just got scammed for $150. I'm like, that's fine, whatever. But she'd be fooled again. Otero Garcia then gets a message from what appeared to be Facebook asking for information to prove she owns the account. So she ended up providing her email, phone number, and eventually her driver's license. Suddenly, um, she's locked like, out. Then the next day, I get start getting messages from my family like, hey, well, like, why are you posting this? And I was like, what are you guys talking about? Like, no, you're posting that you're giving away money. The scammer was using her profile to go after others. Then Thursday came around. They're traumatized. My family is traumatized. Um, and we don't know how we're going to get through this. Otero Garcia says police told her that the suspect was also a victim of the scam and came for his money. According to DPD, Vargas is being charged for felony menacing with a weapon. As for the scammers, they're probably looking for their next victim. Denver 7, by Wayne. And Otero Garcia's hacked account? still active on Facebook and we asked Facebook why it hasn't been removed despite multiple requests over the course of five months and so far no reply.